it's Teacher Lisa. Here is my playground titled Magical Castle and Mystic Caves. There is a river that separates the castle from the caves. So let's start by taking a look inside of the castle. There are guards protecting the outside. And as you go inside the castle, let's jump inside. You will see there is a courtyard with more guards protecting different wall space um, in this area where you could set up activities. Of course, the castle has a king and queen. And when we go inside of their quarters, you will see their bedroom, living air, and their living area. Again, there's plenty of wall space inside to set up activities of your own. And of course, there are also all of the outside walls as options too. As we explore the other side, we go over the bridge and let's take a look inside of this first cave. I have a cute dragon inside just for decoration. Um, you could even turn this into a dragon theme if you wanted to. I have dragons in other areas as well. This could be a mini classroom. And within this cave, there is also a secret cave where trolls are hiding. And it's along the side. Here are trolls. <laughs> but again, you could use this um, to your liking as well. Just an extra little area. The other cave, when we navigate over to this side, you can see there are dragons flying in the sky. And if you go all the way to the top, <laughs> get my jumping going, here we are, there our bird's nests as well. So there are a lot of areas that your students can explore. As you can see on the other side of the river around the castle, there is a wall where you can also place whoops, a lot of your activities. You can actually place them on either side you could use the focus view for anything you place on the outside of the wall and um, you also have the interior wall space as well to place material. So I hope your students have fun exploring Magical Castle and Mystic Caves.